Hi, this is Sui778 coming at you, and we're going to do something a little bit different today. Uh, I actually picked up a, a voltage standard. I actually ordered it about four weeks ago. Uh, it finally just came in the other day, and uh, we're going to go ahead and do a, uh, a retest on all the multimeters that we have tested on the channel so far. Of course, the unit that I got is the AD... Uh, 584M. This basically has an AD584KH in it. Uh, basically, there we go, trying to get the reflections out of it. Uh, this is nothing brand new or innovative, but uh, I figured we would uh, go ahead and pick up one of these. Of course, I got the cased version because I'd just would rather have the on off switch and just a little button on top to, uh, to toggle between. The, uh, the voltages on the back. This one does not have the barrel. It actually has the mini USB jack. So we are going to use, uh, we're going to go ahead and retest all of these uh, as soon as this gets warmed up. Now the other thing I want to point out is that I did test this uh, on my, uh, my bench multimeter. Uh, this uh, the Unity UT8804N, which I am powering up as you see there. And we took uh, a couple sets of readings, uh, one at 77.7 degrees and another one at 74.8. There was a little bit of variation. Uh, I did actually, you know, let it warm up for 30 minutes, um, you know, on two separate days, you know, with the two separate temperatures. And... Uh, ran 15 minute records with one second intervals on the uh, the bench multimeter to see how much variation there was and there was not much at all. Uh, the reason I had to do that is because this particular voltage standard did not come with a sticker. I did take it apart to see if it was uh, somewhere inside. It's not there so I used the bench meter to uh, uh, to basically uh, you know, get my own little, you know, calibra uh, calibration or certification as, as it were on this. And this is basically what we're working off of. It's 73.6 degrees, actually 73.8 degrees right now. So it's going to be a little bit um, cooler than my lowest setting. But here's what I tested at. And as you can see there, uh, 77.7 degrees, um, there were some uh, slight variations on the 2.5 and the 5.0 volt settings, 77.7 um, .7 and 74.8. As you see, there's a, a ten thousandth of a difference on what the median was. And this was very, very stable. Uh, I know this is not the best uh, reference in the world, but it's pretty consistent. And I'm going to start doing tests with these. Uh, you know, testing with uh, this voltage standard from now on. So I thought what we would do today is uh, go ahead and retest all the meters that we've already done on the channel with the voltage standard just to see who's the most accurate. Spoiler alert, it's going to be the bench multimeter. And basically the way that I'm going to do this is as I'm going to have the bench multimeter in as the reference and we will patch in uh, one of these uh, handhelds one at a time uh, and compare it and just see how they do. So we'll give it a few more minutes to get this uh, heated up, get this warmed up, uh, the uh, voltage standard, because it's only been on for about 10 minutes. I'm going to give it another 15, 20 minutes or so, and then we will get started. Okay, before we get started here, uh, I'm just going to go through the reference uh, real quick here. Uh, we are actually on the cooler side of things. And as we saw in the chart earlier, uh, the 2.5 volt reference on the UT8804N is 2.5006. That's exactly what it's reading here. 5 volts uh, should sell around 50054, which it is. It's wavering a little bit, but that's pretty much what I was getting. On 7.5 should be 7502 most of the time and it will waver a little bit between 7501 and 7503 or should but again the vast majority of the time it's going to be on 7502 and then on 10 volts it's going to be 10007 
most of the time. Uh, a little bit cooler temperatures, you'll see the six pop in there here and there, so you'll see that waiver kind of alternate between that. But in any case, uh, since the range of these other meters uh, are only going to be two decimals, basically it should re be reading 10.001. And of course, on the uh, 7.5, it should be reading 7.50 in theory, since uh, that third digit is not high enough to uh, round it up. So yeah, so it should be 7.50 on all these meters that I have here. You can't see them all at the moment. We're going to bring them up one by one. And then for 10 volts, it should basically say 10.001, regardless of whether that uh, third digit is on the 7 or the 6. It should still round it up. So we'll see how this works. So we're going to start off here with the Kuwaits. So let me get it plugged in. And this one I'm going to have to kind of hold it while we do this. So I can operate the backlight and so you can see it. Okay. And as you can see, it is reading 2.50. All right. Let's go to 5 volts. And we are getting 5.01, which is what it should be reading. So that's good. On 7.5, we are getting 7.51. And as you can see, it's a tad bit high on this. And on the 10 volt, it is also reading a little bit high at 10.02. But still, for a 2,000 count, uh, clamp multimeter that costs 19 bucks so uh, it's pretty darn close all right so we'll go to the next one here give me just a second and i'll swap them out next up is the kuwaits all right let me get this one plugged in Okay, so for the HT118A, uh, reading 2.500 volts, it is coming in slightly under. It should be reading 2.501. That's okay. On the 5 volt setting, we are getting 5.005. .005. And as you can see there, it is occasionally going up to 6. So that's actually pretty good, pretty darn close. 7.5. And we are getting 7.50, and that's right where it should be. And then on 10, you're getting 10.00. It might occasionally jump up to 1 here, but I think it is reading this a couple of counts too low. But again, still, it's really, really close. So I would say this did pretty well. All right, let's go ahead and go to the next meter which is going to be the Anning Q10. Now put this in the put this in here and plug this sucker in. And let's see what this one does. Okay, for the 2.5 setting we're getting a reading of 2.502 and wavering to 3 here and there. Not too bad. All right, let's go to five. And we are getting 5.01. Uh, did jump up to one there for a minute. Let's see if it settled uh, on 5.01. Okay, so yeah, it's a little bit off there, uh, but it is kind of rounding it up. So I'm actually, it should it's actually going a little bit high on that one. About say five counts too high. So that's not too terrible. 7.5, and we are getting 7.510. Okay, so again, a little bit high, just a tad. Now we're talking uh, basically about 10 millivolts too high. And on the 10 volt reading, we are getting, again, 10.02. Uh, down to 10.01 so I would say it's pretty close there it's a little bit high but not bad all right let's go to the next one 
which is going to be the Tills Wall FY8233X. Let's get this back down to two and a half volts. And let's get the backlight on here. Okay. So for uh, the 2.5 reading, this is 2.501. That's exactly where it should be. For the 5 volt, you're getting 5.005. Again, very, very close. I can't remember whether this one jumps up to 5.006 or not. I don't think it did. I tried these the other day just to see how they would do. But again, that's quite close. Okay, now we need to uh, switch to the next... Uh, since this is a manual meter, we need to go from 6 volts to 60 volt range. And again here, it's reading it a little bit high. I would say probably about 7 or 8 counts high. Not too bad though. It still is coming in at 7.51. That's very respectable for a $15 meter like this one. And the 10 volt reading, look at that, 10.01. That's right on the money for, uh, for two decimals for this. So, again, the Tills wall continues to uh, impress. Uh, it has always been pretty good on voltage. Anyway, all right, and let's do the, uh, the, the most recent meter that we reviewed. Let me uh, go ahead and get this out. Switch that back down to 2.5. And we'll put the Thysindi Thys in here. Sometimes hard to say that word. I don't know why. And I'm hoping that the screen is reading that. Let me check. There we go. It's in the picture now. All right. So uh, let's get it plugged in and let's see what this one does. Okay. Yep. Oh, need to go to DC voltage. That would help. There we go. Okay, so for the 2.5 volts, it is reading it as 2.501, which is exactly where it needs to be. Quite impressive for a $23 meter, I should say. 5 volts. Look at that, getting 5005, and occasionally, actually it's settled on 5006, which is where it should be. So again, quite impressive. Let's go to uh, 7.5 volts. And we are getting 7.50, which is exactly what it should be reading in this scale. And last but not least, 10 volts. And it is coming in at 10.00. Uh, it did try to jump up to 1 there, but it looks like it's settling on. Yep, there it goes, 10.01. It's hitting it intermittently. So again, that's very close. So now that we've tested all of these, Who's the winner? Well, <laughs> I would say probably the best two out of these five handhelds would probably be between the Kuwait's HT-118A and the Thysindi 1152T. But all of these did very well on this. You know, even the clamp meter did well. So there you go. Uh, that's going to do it for this review. And we will be using this, uh, this standard from now on, uh, this, uh, this, end, or this, end, this uh, 8584M, if I get it in the camera for you. So this is our new standard, actually we don't need that even on anymore. But anyway, thanks for watching, and uh, again, as you can see with the voltage on all these meters, they all did quite well, and... The voltage is part of the reason why I've given all of these meters a thumbs up. All of these meters are quite useful in what they can do. Anyway, we'll see you next time uh, when we do the next multimeter review. Thanks for watching.